Shadowlands is bringing us a ton of new mounts and the first one that we're going to cover is the Sin Runner Blanche and this is a great looking mount. Sure, it's another horse, but it looks great this kind of ghosty red it's got going on and this isn't the first time we've seen Blanche either. So in terms of getting this mount, if you remember the spring for Alpaca, it's going to work very, very similar to that where you're going to have to interact with it six days. It doesn't have to be six days in a row. It could be six, one day here and one day a week later as long as you interact with it six different days you'll get yourself the mount or you could do it six days in a row and get it within six days it's going to have a short respawn timer and these items are going to come from different places they are going to require you to be at least level 55 but you can get all of them within the first day so you've got hold of them for the next kind of four or five days or whatever you've got left so you can get them all day one and then have them prepared basically. So I'm going to run through where these six items come from and then we'll talk about where it spawns and etc. So in terms of the items, the first one up is going to be the handful of oats. You need eight of these and these require level 55 to loot. And these actually come from Westfall, which is where we've seen Blanche originally. You'll find these around the farms, generally around the edges, maybe behind like the wooden buildings and stuff. And you'll get about one to three handful of oats per bag. And these don't have too long of a respawn, so I don't see these being too big of an issue. If there's a ton of people around, it might be a bit trickier. But eventually you will get your eight and you'll be able to move on. For day two, you're going to need a grooming brush, just one of them. And this will come from Snickersnee in Darkhaven. No prerequisites or anything as far as I can tell. Just go talk to the NPC, he'll have extra dialogue, and he'll give you that grooming brush. For day three, you're going to need four sturdy horseshoes. And so far, everyone who's done this has had the same order of items, but... It might be worth getting them all just in case it randomly changes, but it does seem like a set order. Uh, four horde saw shoes, and you'll find these very easily around the roads in Darkhaven. Uh, generally on the right side of Revendreth, they're not quite around Darkhaven, they're a little bit further. But I'll have a map up now showing you the various locations that I've found with them. And they don't have too long of a respawn, so once again getting four shouldn't be too difficult. For day four, you need a bucket of clean water. To get the bucket, you need an empty bucket first of all, and head back to Snickersnee in Darkhaven, and you'll find a little bucket on the ground near him. Click on that, you'll have an empty bucket. Go to Bastion or Ardenweald and go into Swimmable Water. Use the bucket and you'll get yourself a bucket of clean water. For day five, you'll need a comfortable saddle blanket, and for this you need to trade a NPC called Trader So True, and they will trade you the blanket for 30 of the kind of mob meat, you know, the random crafting meat. Uh, it does change what it wants every week, so you'll need to keep an eye on what meat you actually need for that week. Get the meat, depends on what mob or what meat it wants, will depend on where the mob meat comes from. Get yourself a 30 and you'll be able to trade him and you'll find so true in the north of, Re oh sorry, the south of Revendreth in the night market. So that's the fifth item and then the sixth, once again very simple to get, this is going to be three dread hollow apples. You'll find these from an NPC called Mims in the hole in the wall. It's over by the charred ramparts in Revendreth once again. You'll head over there, you'll speak to Mims, and they'll sell you the well, they'll sell you five apples at a time, but you only need three of them. So those are the six items that we need to be able to feed it. That'll get you through the six days. And as mentioned, you can get all of these day one, but you do need to be at least level 55 to get them. So it's probably best wait until you're around 60 before you start looking to do this. But if you want to do it sooner, you can start looting them as you go. So next up, we're going to talk about how to interact with Blanche, and that is going to the Endmire in Revendreth. In the northeastish of Revendreth, you'll find the Endmire, and if you go all the way up to the north of the Endmire, you'll find this little bit of kind of river and a tree branch, and old, or sorry, dead Blanche will come running out of this tree branch. It'll be friendly, and what it'll do is just run at a really fast pace. It'll run faster than a player does on a mount currently. So I would recommend being a little bit in front of this tree branch in the water and it'll come running out of the tree and interact, or it'll, sorry, it'll collide with you. When it collides, it'll stop because it doesn't want to hit hurt you and then you'll be able to interact with it and it'll stay around for about five minutes and during that five minute period, anyone can interact with it. Horde Alliance doesn't matter. Now you can only interact with it once per day. You can't do all six. So you'll be kind of like locked out once you spoke to it once that day. But you will be able to go to other people's servers, look in LFG, etc. Go to their realms and speak to it if they've got it up. So do keep that in mind as well. In terms of respawn time, I've seen around an at one to two hour respawn. I've not seen anything above two hours yet, but it could be on a one to three. I might have just got a look at. There was one period though where it took about six hours to respawn. 
and you know that was a bit weird the servers then went down came up and then i had a one hour 40 respawn so just want to mention that weird anomaly as it could be relevant but it's probably just some kind of weird bug or something but something to keep in mind at least anyway in terms of spawn points this is the only place i've seen it spawn and i've seen about 11 spawns so far so you know the fact that there's been that many i doubt there's other spawn locations could be that they're bugged and they're not working right now do keep that in mind but this is one guaranteed spawn location anyway and i would imagine it's probably the only one it's going to spawn and as i mentioned it'll run and it's going to run all the way through the end mire if you're not able to kind of stop it it'll get to the end mire like the other end of the end mire and then it'll despawn and you have to wait for the, the two hour period for it to come back again so you want to make sure you're you're in a place where you can stop it from running and then you'll be able to get your feed done for the day so yeah that's pretty much it you do your six days as i said it doesn't have to be six days in a row it could be one day here one day in three more days as long as you do six days total you will get the mount you can use other people's blanche it'll stay around for about five minutes and once again once two hour respawn you can get your six items whenever you want and yeah once again thank you to the secret finder discord for finding the uh, start of this and then we were able to work on getting the whole thing done so yeah thanks for watching guys look out for more shadowlands guides coming very very soon see ya